Hey everybody, so I just wanted to do a quick Barnes & Noble Nook update. <clears throat> I don't know if a lot of you got the same firmware upgrade that I did, but I got 143 pushed to my Nook and uh, it broke my root. I tried to reroute it using the same method I had rooted it once with before and uh, it failed. So I got tired of Barnes & Noble and uh, I decided to check out CM7. I ended up using the clockwork mod to get that installed correctly. Uh, I'm not going to go over that. You can find that online. It's pretty easy. A lot of people have done that. I just wanted to go over uh, a few bugs that I've noticed in CM7. Uh, they're easy to work around and to me it's a pretty happy trade-off for getting unhitched to Barnes & Noble. So let's just check it out real quick and uh, take it for a little test drive. So the one bug that I noticed so far, and I have the screen lock turned on. If you have the screen lock turned on, both the, the pin screen lock and or the graphical screen lock, and I'll just unlock it real quick. Here's the problem. If you go to settings and you try to manage the cyanogen, cyanogen mod settings, and let me try to zoom in here and you click that you get an application kill and it asks you to force close it if you turn the screen lock off that goes away uh, I prefer to have the screen lock on so it's not a big deal to me right now the one benefit you get for having CM7 is you can still access your Nook uh, books that you've downloaded so there's one right there and the little end bu button functions as a, as a home button the other thing you get is you can have Kindle stuff on here too so there's that the only downside that you incur due to this is you can't buy th apps through Barnes & Noble anymore but with Google Play on here if that's not a big deal to you I definitely recommend doing this But that's the review that's the boat I'm in now uh, I'm definitely happy now that I've installed this one more thing just real quick the clockwork mod settings you don't have to use a bootable SD card to access them anymore if you actually go to the applications and you go to ROM manager you can actually change your ROM version right here and make a backup and do a restore so if you had to get back to the Barnes & Noble uh, ROM you could do that and I, I did make a backup of mine before I installed it so anyway that's it thanks for watching guys and have a good one